Aye, oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Bouquet's Cajun Kitchen. Aye, oh yes, sir. Today I'm making a special treat. This is something called chicken in a silk gravy. Now, it's not going to be a roux, and it won't be a tomato gravy or red gravy, however we call it down here on the bayou. But what it is, it's a chicken that's browned real good in grease and cooked down in the succulent silk type gravy. And you eat that over rice and you can have some good corn with that or some smothered cabbage or smothered potatoes or whatever. If you're cooking it at home, the cooking time is approximately maybe one and a half hours, Before somewhere like that. Take care of something important. As you know, I got a little cherry berry wine that I made up, Chef Bouquet brand. I like to fill my glass because when I'm cooking, it kind of relaxes me and it puts, you know, it kind of wakes up my taste buds. Alright, here we go. First thing we're going to do before we do anything, I've got to put some grease in that little pot right there. That's my Dutch oven. A little cooking oil in there. I guess I could see about a half a cup there. All right, now I'm gonna light my fire. I love my outdoor kitchen. I know y'all do too. Oh yeah, my little stove is something else, boy. Let me tell you. What we gotta do, we gotta start off by seasoning our chickens. Now let me tell you what I got. I got some chicken thighs and drumsticks here. All right. First thing I'm looking for is some salt. My grease is getting hot right now. I got a little chili powder. Not a whole bunch. I'm not making chili. I'm just going to be browning that up real good right now. I like a little granulated garlic. And I like a little paprika. And if I was going to use some kind of pepper on that today, I'd go ahead and use it. But I got a guest coming over. It's not in the pepper. And I, I like to accommodate everybody, you know. Me, I'd put that sucker on there. Well, look how pretty and red and salty that is and garlic that is. I tell you what, that's going to get hot fast. So, before I start, I got to put that on the side. All right, I'm going to put my chicken in there. You can hear it already. I like to put it inside down first unless you've got your skin all the way around I tell you what you're gonna have the prettiest silkiest beautiful gravy it's almost a golden brown and after I'm finished with it, the taste is so superb. And when you put that over a bed of rice, oh my God, my God, my God. Let me tell you, it, 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 it's just going to take your breath away. If you eat at my house, you know, everybody, they just got their breath kicking away after the first few bites. All right. What you want to do is kind of Stir your meat up a little bit as it's kind of frying down. So you, you don't want it to right just yet. You don't want it to start sticking to the bottom yet. Chicken's 
kind of cooking a little bit, doing this thing. Start to stick a little, and that's where you know that right now is the time. Let me just get a little brown. All them spices is coming out in the grease right now. catch up with it with the chicken. Kind of stir it a little bit. Let me tell you what. Oh, whoa. You can smell this right now. You know, I mean, if you can smell this right now. See that gravy? That gravy is starting to turn silky color. Not the way I figured silk would look, you know, like a sweet, sweet, sweet golden brown. And you scrape the bottom of the pot to kind of get your, your chicken off the bottom. And when you're doing that, you're making a little brownish gravy, adding to your silk color. Oh, Lord, it smells. Let me tell you, thighs, that's the best meat for this is thighs. I like the breasts and everything, but I'm a thigh chicken. I like my thighs and my legs. Just about got all that brown off the bottom. And the color's great. Paco, if you don't settle down, Bob, I'm going to have you in this pot after a while. I have some Paco and a silk gravy. All right, so that's cooking down. I'm letting some juice loose from my... Uh, my onions, you can see I didn't add any water. My onions letting that moisture loose in that grease. That hot grease is just enough to pick up everything off the bottom of the pot. I've already got that season now. Don't forget, I seasoned up my chicken. Oh, that's beautiful. Bell peppers. I always like to put my little bell peppers in there. Here I've got a half of a large bell pepper. And I'm just going to throw it in there. Let it kind of cook. Don't y'all just love my outdoor kitchen? I love this place, y'all. Let me tell you. Yeah. I just let it cook right now. All right. Now I'm going to throw a little celery in there. 
got two stalks of celery here. Chopped up. Well, we missed that little storm. I don't know if we're going to miss it tonight or not. You know what I mean? We're still catching some rain. Boy, if you can smell it. Dang. No, I've never heard anybody call this chicken in the silk gravy except my brother-in-law. He's the one that, that, that gave me that name years ago. And he was a young boy who used to love this here. And his mama would fix it. And he would, he would beg her, Mama, Mama, make me some chicken in the silk gravy. And she'd say, well, what, what is that, boy? And he'd tell her, he'd explain it to her. And one day she was making this and she said, that's what you talking about. Silk grid, because it's silky, silky. When you put that on that rice, it's just a beautiful little yellow, yellow, yellow. I mean, yellowish brown. So good. Everything just goes crazy. Go crazy in your mouth, boy. I'm telling you, that's the thing. Everything's cooking right now. The celery, bell pepper, and onions cooking good. I'm not going to add my garlic and parsley just right now because when you put your garlic too soon and it gets brown, it, it, it could almost burn. So I don't want to do that too soon. I'm going to wait until after a while. Later, I'm going to add a little bit of water, not much, but that's when I'm going to throw in my parsley, and I'm going to throw in my garlic. Just let it do its thing, and when it's cooked down, everything will be ready. Now look, I'm going to cover this up, and I'm going to see you after a while. Some of that rascal, but not all the way. Just a little, I'm gonna leave a little crack. I like to leave a little crack in there so I don't get too much heat. It'll do its thing. All right, see you at the while. Aye, oh yeah, big hot. Try to get all that off the bottom I can. Now it's time to add a little water. Maybe about a cup. Moisture back in it. Look at that gravy, how pretty that is. Cover it this time all the way. Lower my fire. Let it cook about 20 minutes. Let me tell you something. This chicken right here looks so, 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 so good. the lid and raise my fire a little bit. 
want to get some of that water, some of that gravy down to where it's like a little grease. And that's what you're going to put on top of your rice. And I tell you what, that flavor is just going to knock your socks off. If you got socks on, they're going to go. Get ready, they're gone. Just like your shoes, they're gone. This is done now. Let me tell you what, that is a pretty, pretty, pretty gravy. I'm going to cut it off. This is so beautiful. I think I'm going to do here a thigh. I'm going to do me a drumstick. See that pretty drumstick right here? Put that over that rice. That parsley is beautiful. My Lord to heaven to bet you. Got my plate here of chicken in the silk bread. Got my little red pepper. This one here is called hot as hell. You remember I did my Tabasco? Oh, I like that. Just put that on my gravy. It's the beautifulest bread, I tell you. Mmm. If you ever come visit me, if you ever come visit me on the bayou, ask me to make some of this for you. Ooh, that pepper's hot and good. I'd be glad to. <laughs> Subscribe and you got your thumbs up. Aye, oh yes.